Hi everyone, Alan from Newlands Nursery and this is today's five minute Friday and what we're doing is planting a container where we're predominantly going to concentrate the colour coming from the foliage and not from the flower. So these are heucras, this is some of our heucras in the range so I'm going to pick a few and I'm going to go for the really really popular ones, the dark purple flat, um, leaved ones but I'm going to go for the more caramels and yellow colours to them because I think they put them particularly nice together in a container. But before we choose the plants let's add some multi-purpose compost to the container. So I'm going to fill it almost all the way to the top. I'm going to leave it nine centimetres shy from the top. Now that might seem like a random figure but these are in nine centimetre pots. Okay so I know the root ball for this plant is this deep. So I want the plant to sit in the container like this. So at the moment that will be a bit too low. You can see it's sort of a bit too low in the container. I want it more up here. So I'm going to add another couple of centimetres and about an inch worth of compost to the pot. Just smooth it over just like that and then check it again. That would be absolutely perfect because we're not going to fill the compost all the way to the top. Anyway we leave it just shy of the top, that helps with watering. So let's pick the plants. So if you're in a garden centre you can kind of do this anyway. You can even do it online with pictures and stuff like that. So what you want to do is put the plants together that you think are going to work well together. Something like that, or you might say you want a bit more contrast. This one here, there, that's red lightning which has very red streaks for it. Or potentially, I think what I'm going to do is go with that. And you can see all I do is move them around and see what's going to work well together. Um, and I think that collection will look really, really nice in the container. So all we have to do then is plant them. Because we're planting in freeze and it's a round container, doesn't matter which one we do first. So turn the pot upside down, give it a squeeze and then just lift the plant off just like that. I'm going to put it quite close to the outside, in fact actually against the side of the container. And the reason I'm doing that is because it always fills this way, I want it to fill over as well. Then we just repeat it for the other cups, just like that. Okay, we're looking for a triangle shape. And then lastly, the red lightning one, the lighter leafed one, lime yellow green colour, just like that. I haven't got the triangle quite right, so just move it just like that. So that's what, I can't really tip it up to show you, but that's what we're looking for, that kind of shape of planting. Then all that's left to do is fill in the gaps with some more compost. You're going to get some on the leaves, it doesn't hurt the plant, don't worry about it. So we just fill it in from the centre and then use your hands to encourage it to go around the root ball like that. Okay, nice and easy to do. Now a lot of people get confused about where to place heucras, what um, position to put them in. And they do like a little bit of shade. Um, often you'll find that they're not going to reach their true potential for vibrancy of leaf if they have too much shade. So a little bit of light is no bad thing. Um, but they do like a little bit of shade, especially these light coloured leaves. What you'll find is if you water these in very, very hot weather, they can burn the leaves um, a little bit. And really, really bright sunlight can burn the leaves a little bit as well. So a bit of shade is no bad thing, but the majority of people have an area in the garden that you can put it against a, against a fence and it gets sun for five, six hours, but maybe not for the rest of the day. That's the kind of position they really, really like. Once you've filled it in, all that's left to do is water it. At this stage, you really can't overwater it. Um, so give it a good water. This is its new home. And this container, being a perennial container, can stay in here for absolutely ages. Years and years you could have this container with no issue at all. It would need feeding come next year, but other than that, it will grow really, really well. And I think you'll be surprised how quickly it will fill over and look fantastic. So definitely well worth doing. And if you haven't got heucras in your garden, definitely search them out. 
nice and easy to care for and look fantastic. Any questions at all with all the 5 Minute Fridays, obviously get in contact, we're here to help. See you soon.